Mail time. Mail time. Mail time. Mail time. Mail time. Here's the mail, it never fails. Makes me wanna wag my tail. When it comes, I wanna wail. Mail! Shout out my boy Steve and Blue. One time for the one time. You're my boy, Blue. You're my boy, Blue! My fans, followers, supporters, and anyone who just likes to look good. If you don't know, you won't know. It's me, Lucas Fretch Original, back by unpopular demand with another episode of what the hell did I get in the mail today? Now today, we got seven packages. Seven! How the hell did you get in here? We got seven packages, and I am beyond excited to hop into them. Loads of heat for you guys, so without further ado, let's hop, skip, and jump right into it. Let's start it off here. Let's get into the first one. We got this little teal poly here, and inside, something you don't see every day. And no, I'm not talking about the Supreme Box logo sticker, although I do appreciate it. You guys should know by now. If it's free, it's for me. That's that's just the vibes. Let's crack into the tea, shall we? Check it out. That double-sided delight, front and back, liquid blue, sun and moon tea. Now what's special about this one is that the dyes are reversed. So this is a misprint as far as I'm concerned. Normally you'll have the orange and yellow tie-dye on the front, to go with the sun, you know, the sun rays. And then you'll have the blue and purple tie-dye on the back with the moon, you know, dusk, nighttime. But this one's flip-flopped and I have never seen one like it before. So when I saw it online, I had to snatch it up with the quickness. Now this original graphic is actually from 1992, but this one I don't believe to be from 1992. I think it's an early 2000s reprint, but since it is a misprint, I just couldn't pass it up. I thought it was too cool. And I'll put a picture comparison up of the what it's supposed to look like so you guys can look at the differences. But super cool tea that you definitely won't see again, at least as far as I'm concerned. And great way to start it. All right, on to our second package of the day. What do we got? Woo, little twofer, baby. Little promo bundle. Now with the most vicious haircut fastball combo in the league, we got that 1989 Charlie Sheen Major League Movie Promo Baseball Tee. How fitting on that faded Screen Stars tag. And we got the mohawk having sunglass wearing baseball on the front, just posted up looking cooler than ever. Hashtag winning. Winning. Now this is before Charlie Sheen lost his goddamn mind, but after the fact, he definitely could have fit in with the with the next group of characters here on this t-shirt. We got the Adams Family. This is the 1994 Adams Family Values tee. And let me tell you, mid-2000s Charlie Sheen would fit right in with these crazy characters. He was an absolute lunatic, but again, with these pickups, we're hashtag winning. Winning. On to the next one, what do we got? Let's check it out. You guys already know, it would not be a proper episode if I didn't have some mad merchandise in here. Now this one's not an Alfred E. Newman tee, but check it out. We got that mad racing Casey Kahn, Casey Kane? I'm honestly not quite sure. No, you know what, let's play it safe. You know what, let's play it safe. Let's go with just Casey K. My apologies to all the diehard Casey K fans out there. You know, my pronunciation skills might need a little fine tuning work, but it is what it is. Now you guys are probably thinking to yourself, Lucas, that front graphic ain't doing too much for me. Why'd you buy that? And you know, it's not doing too much for me either. I'm not sure why I bought it. Psych, there's more. Let me flip and dip onto the back. Check that awesome graphic out. Mad racing, big old front and center graphic, spy versus spy, back to back. And they know, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. You can't get much closer to your enemy than that. I'll tell you that right the Quack. f now. A juicy, juicy graphic and an awesome tee to have. Now, I'm not sure if I'm gonna add this into my mad collection just cause I have a weird admiration of Alfred E. Newman's little face and his graphics. Not as into the Spy vs. Spy, although, you know, I did grow up with the Spy vs. Spy little comics, but I don't know. I'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But if you like it, hit me up. All right, let's get the next one here. What do we got? Ooh, another little twofer. I'm here for it, baby. I'm here for it. Ooh, yes, a nice start. Check out the fade on this beauty. The 90s Nike Barcelona B-Ball tee. 
And let me tell you, the U.S. just straight breeds superhumans built for basketball, I swear. We got the likes of Pippen, Barkley, Stockton, Jordan, Mullen, and Robinson. Straight unfuckwittable squad. And that's why we just tear it up in the Olympics every single time. Like, these boys cannot be touched. Nothing on the back of this one, but a great, great tee. Super stoked to have that one. That fade and graphic just goes so well together. I love it. Moving on, what else we got in here? Not as faded, but a juicy one. Front and back, Dragon Ball Z graphic. A little sparkle in the hair. It's just got a fresh pump out of the gym looking dynamite, dude. Flip and dip onto the back and you got the Dragon Balls just posted up, chilling. A little black and white graphic. I wish they did this one in color as well, but you know, beggars can't be choosers, people. It is what it is. Still an awesome tee, and I think I'm gonna have no problem selling that one for sure. All right, on to the next one. What do we got? Ooh, and going with the theme of the shirt today. Look, if you guys do not know, like I collect the mad stuff, yeah, but I've been collecting Tommy Hilfiger gear for years now. I'm a huge fan. It's my favorite brand. And so when I saw this one pop up for the steal that it was, I snatched it up with the quickness. Check it out. We got that vintage Tommy Hilfiger Racing Lotus Gear tee. Now, I know you're looking at the front. You're again, you're like, Lucas, why'd you buy that? Not much going on, bud. Got some sleeve hits, a couple of little holes here, but check the back out. The Tommy Hilfiger Crew. This is just the Lotus Gear is so hard to find, especially for good prices. Unfortunately, this one doesn't look like it's going to fit onto my even super scrawny body but I may or may not still keep it for the personal. Like I said, I'm a huge Tommy collector. This is not something you come across every day, and I got it for an absolute deal of a lifetime. I mean, people are just sleeping on Tommy right now. It used to be super popular a few years ago, and then it slowly kind of faded out, but I like to think if something could hold value at one point, you know, it could always go up again. So I have a loads of good Tommy inventory as well as, you know, stuff in my personal Tommy collection that just kind of dropped in price over the last few years. Absolute bummer, but patience saves pocket. Maybe I'll uh, hold on to them and they'll go back up or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. A great tea though, nonetheless. All right, guys, on to the next package. Package number six. You know the vibes. Let's start with some light here. You got a little bundle, a little bundle. And when I buy these, look, you gotta understand, I'm not spending money. I am just saving it. That's it. So I start off with some light for you guys. We got this 2010 Heather Gray, little Los Angeles Lakers Western Conference Champions tee. Now my sports section, honestly, pretty slim. So I figured let's try and build that up a little bit. And the Lakers stuff is doing great right now. So. A nice little essential pickup. You know, I said it was light, nothing crazy here, but trust me, this package is gonna get better and better as we go through, so stick around, stick around. A nice start though. All right, on to our next tee here. Check this one out. Not to be confused with the Hell's Angels, we got the 1997 Hell's Aliens tee, all coming out of the mothership, squad deep in their intergalactic chromed out rides. And now these guys are aliens. They don't need spacesuits, but you'd have the whole situation twisted and f***ed up if you didn't think they needed a jean vest to survive in space because these guys cannot go without it. Clearly looking absolutely swagged out up in space. Straight. Nothing on the back of this one, but a great graphic and a nice little uh, you know, parody tee sort of vibe to it. I'm digging it. All right, on to the next one. Just moving up in caliber, like I said. Check it out. No, don't worry. You guys are not tripping sack. This is just a little vintage Santana tee. Crazy, vibrant colors on this trippy Santana shaman graphic on the front here. And you flip and dip onto the back and you got the man himself just posted up with that blue tiger print guitar just shredding beyond belief. Woo! Woo! Now this is from early 2000s. You got the tour dates and locations on the bottom here, right beneath the legend himself. But dude just absolutely shreds. And if you want to try and argue with that, I will literally fight you. But a great tee, Santana, absolute legend, if I do say so myself. All right, on to our last tee, and we're moving up that caliber again. Check it out. Look at the fade on this bad boy. 
that vented C3PO R2D2 joint. Absolutely killer Star Wars piece. I have not seen this one at all before, except for when I snatched it up online. And I totally forgot I bought it, came in the mail late, but grabbed this beauty and I'm in love. Single stitch all the way around, nothing on the back, but a great fade and an awesome graphic. The Star Wars stuff is doing nothing but going up. It's promo gear, promo's doing well. Star Wars is like cult following. So you really cannot go wrong with this t-shirt and I'm excited to throw it up and sell it on the page. On to our last package of the day, package number seven. Seven! Who let you back in here, seriously? Last package of the day, like I said, and we're gonna end it with a bang. Check this bad boy out. We got the vintage Wizard of Oz promo tee with the spineless cowardly lion. Hey, but he's got a lot of nerve and I can tell that. He looks like he's about ready to square up with the Wicked Witch of the West. Like, look at this man. He said, what's up? What's up with you? Awesome tee, nothing on the back, but little Warner Bros tag, a great graphic, crispy, nice little pink bow to top it all off. I just love the tee and a great way to end it in my opinion. Absolute heat on heat today for you guys and I'm loving it and I hope you did too. So boom, follow me if you don't already, at Retro Original Co. on Instagram. I'll put the link for that in the description, making your lives a whole lot easier. Now, if you like anything you saw in this video or you just like cool clothes in general, be sure to check out my website, RetroOriginal.com, and get you and your entire extended family fresh for less. While you're here, I know you guys enjoyed the content. Be sure to subscribe, because that shit's mandatory. Never an option. And while you're at it, slap that like button, because if you don't, you'll never get another good thrift come up in your life. And I would hate to see that for you. That's everything I got in the mail today. For Retro Original, I'm Lucas Hill, and you're not.